right, hi everybody. This is Kimberly. I'm the educator for the fourth floor. Um, coming to you from recording by popular demand. A lot of people have requested that we record some of our education, which I think is a really good ideal, especially for a lot of people that work nights and weekends. So, first thing is the PureWick. It's our new external female catheter. We've been doing a lot of in services, and I'm going to show you today how it works. Um, this is Lanisha, PCT from Four South, so she's going to help me. So the first thing we want to do with the PureWick is you want to make sure that your patient meets criteria. So if the patient's having a lot of incontinent stools, they're not going to be a candidate for it. If the area is not intact, so if the skin is red, if it's irritated, it's not intact, they're not going to be a candidate for it either. So the way that it works is this is a wick. As it wets this area, the urine collects down in the bottom and it's hooked up to the wall suction. So it sucks it up about 50 cc's in a couple of seconds. So I'm just going to connect this and show you how quick the urine is sucked up. So as I dip this in here, you see how fast the urine is being sucked up? Well, this is just water. So um, that's how quick, as the patient is urinating, that it will be sucked up. So it will keep your patient dry. The patient also won't feel any of the suctioning. They'll only have like a, a breeze, like this is like real breeze, but the suction is at the bottom of here. So they're not gonna feel that suction against them. So the way that it is placed, you're gonna use the patient's anatomy to hold it in place. So you, between the labia and the gluteus, right there at the area, you're gonna put it in. So. For our smaller females, we can use the mesh underwear to help hold it in place. For some of our larger ones, once we close their legs, there hasn't been a problem as far as it moving. So some of our patients that are moving around, confused, they won't be a candidate for it either because they won't be able to hold it in place. You do want to make sure that you're using your wipes and you're cleaning that area prior. So for Meditech, uh, documentation is going to be charted under the external uh, condom catheter area, so you'll chart it that way. Uh, also, you want to make sure that you're changing it out once a shift or every 12 hours to keep it um, clean. At that point, you should assess the skin and make sure that it's still dry and intact. Um, first thing you want to do is check your placement. So when you set it on continuous at 60, if you're not getting good suction, check your placement first, and then you can go between 60 and 80. So any questions, um, please comment below or you can email me, Kimberly.Smith16 at hcahealthcare.com. Thank you.